don't know, Ben. I mean, do you, do you know what a prophet? Do you know the word prophet? Do you know what that actually means? I mean, I mean, you sort of know. <laughs> okay, so a prophet means a person that has been like directly visited by God. So if you've been visited by God, you've seen him, you've talked to him, you are in the same category as Abraham, Buddha, Moses, Joseph Smith, Muhammad, right? My friend, you went to one of these New Age uh, Christian retreats uh, two weekends ago. When he got back, he was a prophet. <laughs> he was a prophet. He claimed that on this retreat, he did acid, he did ketamine, and he was drinking alcohol, right? And uh, he went to hell, and then he went to heaven, and then he saw Jesus, right? So he's a, he's a prophet now. I mean, that guy right there. <laughs> I mean, he swears up and down. This guy works as a barista making coffee. But he and like five others, five others saw Jesus last weekend, two weekends ago. So now we have five more prophets in the world, you know, that swear by their lives that they saw the face of God. Why? I, mean, I, I don't understand. Me and, uh, me and my cousins thought we saw Jesus in our soup one morning. Does that mean I'm a prophet? People have claimed they've seen the face of God in many places. Does that, that, does that mean that they're all prophets? If you ask them, they will say, they will, they will say they literally saw the face of God. But they saw it on the back of, a, of an ad sign while driving down the interstate. You know, stuff like that. I asked my friend and told him, like, are you sure you went to heaven and hell? Are you sure you saw God? Or do you think it was the repercussions of all the drugs you did at the exactly the same time? My friend said, no! It's 100% serious. I had a 100% religious experience, you know. And the drugs literally had nothing to do with it. You know, I mean, I'm a Christian, but uh, so is he. So we're both in the same category, me and that guy, you know. Me, we're, we're both Christians. I don't like that, you know. I don't, I don't like that. I don't, I, don't, I don't like how I'm in that same kind of category is this, this dude right here, and he's like a prophet, you know? And nothing changes with those guys. Those five guys that saw the face of God, I mean, nothing changes. They're still working as coffee shop people, you know? Waiters, waitresses, stuff like that. I mean, Muhammad. Muhammad saw God, and he became one of the greatest leaders in the history of mankind. But when my friend, what is he doing? Nothing. He's working at a coffee shop, still, you know? He still farts in my face. And the other day I saw, uh, I saw he needed a pair of undies, so he picked a pair that were lying in the corner of a room, of his room. He lifted it to his nose, took a whiff, and then he was like, it's okay, that's fine. <laughs> you know, it, it's funny about that, you know, when men, were, when, they're, when we are in a pinch, you know, the undies could have been like, they could have had brown streaks, like running, right, right through the side of them, <laughs> you know. And we would have still been like, I have war wars. <laughs> you know, it's not that bad, you know? So, Joe, why did you say your YouTube reputation? Why? Well, it, it wouldn't ruin it. It just, it wouldn't work on YouTube. This would not ever work. This would never work. And my, your teachers might like this, but it, it just would never. Um, I, I think it's too smart. Like, it's in too... Like, if it takes more than five seconds to comprehend, then a lot of times it's just not going to work. It's just, got, it's just not going to make it on YouTube. Some people will get it, obviously. But you're not trying to strive for some people. You're trying to strive for, like, millions of views, you know? YouTube is a place for incredibly stupid things, like people falling down, people getting hurt, you know, like Ray William Johnson. Things you, you don't really have to think too much about it. If you are, also, I mean, if, you, if you're spending your days in front of a computer screen, you go a little crazy. And by watching people screwing up, uh, people feel a little sense of control. And then that's why, like, people falling down, right? People getting hurt. Uh, when you're watching that, you know, 
um, people get a little, they have this sense of control of their life. Because they, they think, you know, at least I'm not that guy right there. You know, that, I mean, that's, that's the whole thing about YouTube. You know, you got a monkey like peeing in his own mouth. It gets millions of views. You got a video about quantum physics, about reality, what is consciousness, stuff like that. It's going nowhere, man. You know, if I was a police officer, you know, I would actually dress up as Batman. You know, because like who would suspect the bad guys, they would never suspect that this cop is dressed up as, as Batman. You know, they would never be thinking about it at all. You know, like, it'd be like the last thing, you know. And uh, even if you put your badge right there, just on the outside of your Batman costume, they would still never suspect it. Yeah, I don't know why they don't do that, you know.